I just saw uh, Bishop T.D. Jake's video today, you know, and he said, um, the church is going to be the church and the world is going to be the world and y'all shouldn't be surprised. And he's right. You shouldn't be surprised. If you've been in the word of God, you can see the signs of the time coming, pa coming to pass. And what that means is, though, you can't be sitting there sleeping. You should have a sense of fire, a sense of urgency preparing for the Lord to come back. Because the Bible says in the last days, what did God say he was going to do in the last days? He was going to pour his spirit out upon all flesh. And he said the harvest is plenty and the labors are few. So when you see the signs of the times, you should be saying, man, Jesus is coming. He's about to crack the sky i need to do something i need to win soul see because if you are truly in love with jesus christ you are in love with the things that god is in love with and he loves nothing more than souls souls are the heartbeat of god and souls are being lost souls are dying every day some of y'all say man marcus shut up you doing too much you yelling too much you too loud man if you see the signs of the times and you understand the gravity of what is happening it's not about equal rights the church is about to be under attack the devil is about to run up on some of you who sleeping man some of y'all yeah the church gonna be the church Church, and the world gonna be the world sleeping you should get a sense of urgency you should see that stuff and say man god is about to return god is about to call his people home but now nah, some of y'all still straddling the fence some of y'all still struggling with the same old things man you need to get on fire for god you need to get a passion for god if you've got a passion for god if you've got a healthy relationship with god i promise you you are going to be fired up about winning souls you're going to say god send them to me lord god send me to the souls give me what to say when to say and how to say it i gotta speak i gotta tell the truth i gotta tell my testimony see some of y'all don't have the fire some of y'all just sitting there and you sleeping the church is about to be under attack and the enemy is about to pull some of y'all cards the churches are already getting sued who refuse you know to marry gay couples i already seen this morning it's a thousand dollar fine for every day they deny the gay couple and they may have to face up to 180 days and the church has already been getting persecuted overseas christians getting their heads cut off christians getting their heads blown up little kids getting hung man i'm telling you this stuff should put a fire inside of you and say man the enemy is on the move the enemy is on the attack he's going Going hard. We got to go hard. We got to be on fire for Jesus. Do you understand that souls are dying? Souls are going to hell without Jesus Christ. If you have the love of God, you should have a compassion for souls. You should have a sense of urgency. But some of y'all are sleeping and it's time out for a church that's sleeping. The Bible also says in the last days, many will be rocked to sleep. And that's what's happening, man. Some of you are rocked to sleep because you focus on the wrong things. All you focus on is black power. All you focus is on the white man is holding us down. All you're focused on is the media. You're focused on being you focus on all the garbage in the media and you don't even see that God is soon to return. The devil got you so distracted, you sleeping. You know, and you got these preachers out here. This is how people fall asleep. They get sugar-coated preaching. They don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. That's why you don't got no fire. That's why you don't got no passion. That's why you don't got no compassion for souls. Yes, this thing is serious. It's time to get serious and on fire for God. The enemy ain't playing with you. He ain't playing with me. He ain't playing with the church. So we shouldn't be sitting there sleeping. It is time to get on fire for God. Everybody has a place on this battlefield. And no, it's not about going out there and spreading hate and throwing the Bible at people. It's about standing for truth. It's about not backing down from righteousness. And that's what I'm telling you. It's not about equal rights. These guys are trying to invade the church and they're trying to punk us. They're going to try to punk you and say, you know what? Stop talking about God. Stop talking about Jesus. Jesus ain't real. And some of these people, man, they get so smart. And this is how they rock you to sleep. They say, well, America really wasn't founded on God. And they start telling you all this stuff and they try to twist it around you know when it's trying to rock you to sleep it's trying to get you to lose sight it's trying to get you to lose that fire lose that passion lose that desire why because the enemy has an agenda he doesn't want you to be effective he doesn't want you to be on fire for god he wants you to just sit there and go to church every sunday and just go through the motions and don't go witness to nobody don't go tell nobody your testimony don't go tell people man i'm telling you right now it's time out for people who are straddling the fence it's time out for people who don't have a relationship with god it's time out for sitting here on this earth trying to make yourself happy every day living trying to make yourself happy like this is our final destination it's time out for lukewarm saints it's time out for the hypocrites and the pharisees it's time out for the gossiping in the church it's time out for the segregation in the church it's time to get unity it's time to be on fire for god man some of you are sleeping so hard and you're focused on the wrong things that when things really get real one night just like how 9 11 happened things can get so real overnight they can start locking up christians they can start persecuting christians overnight and some of you ain't gonna be ready because you ain't been hitting the spiritual gym you ain't been praying you ain't been fasting you ain't been seeking god i'm telling you right now man this is real and i feel the fire of god right now if you have the love of jesus christ and if you have a healthy relationship with jesus christ your spirit is going to connect with his spirit and you're going to have a passion for the things that god cares about and that's souls
We are put on this earth to give God glory. What did he send the apostles out to do? He didn't send them out to play the piano and play the organ in church. You know, he sent them out to preach. He sent them out, you know, to, to give the gospel to the whole world. That's what he sent us out to do. All that other stuff is good. But if you really have a love for Jesus, if you're really on fire for God, you're going to have the desire. Man, I got to win souls. I got to tell somebody about Jesus because but Jesus is soon to return. The devil is roaming this earth like a lion seeking who he can devour. Do you understand that? Some of y'all sleeping. Y'all don't even understand what that means. He's trying to destroy you. He's trying to rock you to sleep. So that's man. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, this is real. There's souls. Who are going to go to hell just because you didn't open your mouth. Just because you was too ashamed. Just because you was too worried about what somebody thought. So you didn't tell your testimony. You was too intimidated on the job. I see it all the time. Man, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. That means the church is sleeping. That means the church needs to step it out. That means the church needs to get on fire for God. Stop worrying about offending people. Stop worrying about what people would think. Now, I'm not saying be rude. And I'm not saying we hate these people. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. Let's get it clear. People like to twist my words. I don't hate nobody. I love everybody with the love of Christ. But the word of God says what the word of God says. And the word of God says this is wrong and this is wrong. So I'm not judging you. The word of God is the judge. The word of God already says what's right and what is wrong. I am simply the messenger. And I'm not going to back down from the message. I'm not going to change the message. I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm going to stand for Jesus Christ. And I'm going I'm to do what he told me to do unashamed. I'm telling you, some of y'all are letting the devil punk you into being politically correct. Some of y'all are letting the devil punk you. And you know what that means? It means you don't really believe the word of God. It means that you don't have a real relationship with God because you know no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I've never seen the righteous forsaken or seed begging bread. You know that God is your strong tower. You know that God is the author and finisher of your faith. You know that God is the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. You know these things about God. And if you truly know these things about God, then you don't care what this world thinks. I don't care that the world thinks I'm crazy. I don't care if the world tries to intimidate me and pump me or bully me. No matter how big they think they are, they are not bigger than my God. So you got to get this fire in you. And the only way you can get this fire is developing your relationship with God. David had to be on fire to slay the giant. Paul had to be on fire to go through the persecution. Man, I'm telling you right now, embrace the fire. You got to go through the fire to be on fire. That's why we go through tests. That's why we go through trials. And some of y'all are punking out. Some of y'all are crying every time you go through a test. Every time you go through a trial, you're going through spiritual boot camp. Some of you, oh, well, I got to go through this test, God. Why I got to go through this trial? Because he's soon to return and he's trying to use us and he's about to call his people home and he's about to crack the sky. <laughs> Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost, man. It's real. I'm trying to shake you. I'm trying to wake you up. God told me to set this earth on fire. That's what he told me to do. I had dreams. I had visions. Man, I seen fire falling from heaven, and it's going to fall on the willing individual, uh, individual, the person who's made themselves available to God, and they say, God, use me. You know, I got a love for you, and I love the things that you love, and I know that you want me to win souls. I know that you want me to use me. May I make myself available to you. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what the world thinks because they can't save my soul. They can't do for me what you can do for me, Lord God. So you me, shape me, make me, mold me through the test and the trial, put me through the fire because I know that I will not be consumed if I believe in you and I know that all things will work for the good of me and Lord God if I love you and I hold on to you and I trust you but some of y'all don't really trust God that's why you're intimidated, that's why the devil gonna run up on you and he gonna pull your card man I'm telling you he gonna pull some of y'all card, it's gonna get real hey y'all be blessed in Jesus name, just be clear I love everybody, I know some of my soldiers is watching this, they're like man that guy crazy yeah, y'all see in the end, though.